Hey everybody, great to again be with you in this navigation through the New Testament. I love Luke for the way that uh, Luke records all of these uh, memories and all of the things that the disciples and other people around Jesus heard, and then he does a he does a journalistic approach to making sure the facts are correct and then records all of this in the Gospel of Luke. It's an amazing account of Jesus. And Jesus today, we're in Luke chapter 13, says this, make every effort to enter through the narrow gate or the narrow door because wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, but narrow the gate that leads to life. Many will try to enter through the narrow, the narrow gate, but will not be able to. Luke chapter 13, verse 24. I uh, was reading the story about Highway 401 in Canada. Not exactly sure uh, if you've been there before. I know that I've not been to Ontario to see this, but it's considered the widest road in the world. In parts of the freeway, there's 22 <laughs> lanes. Can you imagine learning to drive in 22 lanes of traffic, <laughs> navigating back and forth across that? We struggle in California with three to five lanes. I can't imagine 22 lanes of traffic and you trying to navigate that to get to your exit. But that's the widest road in Canada. It's funny that thousands of cars each day travel that road trying to get where they're going. And Jesus says that that's not the widest road. You know what the widest road to Jesus is? It's not a freeway that cars get on, but it's the highway that people believe is the way to heaven. Because I don't know if a funeral I've attended, I'm sure you've attended many. I, every funeral I've attended the people of the family always believe that their loved one's going to heaven. Some cases, I really believe they're right because of the heart of the person and, and their full commitment to God. But there are many other cases where there's not evidence of that. And it's, it's true. Listen carefully. I'm trying to make this clear. It's true that we do not know the hearts of men. You do not know whether a person that didn't act that way did still believe that way. God does rescue us no matter what our sin is when we believe in him. That's exactly what Jesus, if you believe in me, I will save you. That's, it's all about what's in the heart. And we can't read the heart. I get that. But the list of things we attribute to people has nothing to do with the pathway to heaven how good they are, what they did in life, all these great things they did for us, the happiness they enjoyed, the experiences they got to have. That's not the, that's a 22 lane freeway, but it doesn't take you to the destination you're looking for. Jesus said later in John 14, I am the way and the truth and the life. I'm that pathway. I'm the narrow gate. I'm the only way, not other religions, not other mechanisms, not other behaviors. I'm the only way to eternity. Either he was right, he's accurate, we need to pay attention, or he was crazy. But because of the resurrection, we believe he was right. So today, I hope that verse 24 is convicting to you. I know it's frightening and convicting to me, for me and for all of those I love. Because the way to heaven is not about my resume. It's about my relationship with him. The, the way to eternity is to know him more and let him take us there. It comes in the form of surrender to Jesus, not supplanting that with all of the things I want to do in my life and my successes. The way to heaven is through the narrow gate the way of the cross. And he's opened that gate for us by taking on our sin. Luke's verse here captures something significant. And I just wonder, this sidebar, I just wonder what Luke was thinking when he hears these stories of Jesus and then hears these statements of Jesus that he's the only way. Wow. I wonder what you're thinking when you hear that as well. Friends, this is a time and this is a season when we have the opportunity to share the good news of Jesus with everybody around us, if nothing else, we're coming out of a pandemic, if nothing else in this pandemic has happened, it's given us an opportunity to state our faith, to demonstrate it, and to tell others. And we need to take advantage of it because wide is the road that leads to destruction, but narrow the lane that leads to life. Be on that lane. And God bless you as you do. We'll see you again tomorrow.